Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is Keno Thomas from Keno Training Systems and today we are going to do a, another uh, mechanical comprehension, uh, well in the area of uh, physics, for uh, military aptitude testing. Um, today uh, we're going to deal with a question that works with, that deals with cranes at work. Okay, so uh, our question is going to deal with a crane, and our question is as follows. A crane has a 100,000 kilogram lift, lifting capacity. The crane lifts, lifts, let me just make an adjustment there, it lifts a load at its capacity to a height of 40 meters at an elapsed time of 30 seconds. And how much power did the crane use while lifting the load? Assume the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared and that the crane lifted the load with a constant velocity. We're going to have to define power which is work done divided by time. We're going to have to look at the formula for work which is force multiplied by displacement or distance and we're going to have to work with the force equation force equals mass times acceleration so we've uh, shortened up the question and expanded our work area and the first thing we're going to deal with is force if you look at the question um, force equals mass times acceleration so, in order to constantly lift the 100,000 kilogram load, we're going to have to lift it at a constant velocity, and we're, so we're going to have to overcome gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. We will multiply that, and we'll come up with a number of 981,000. So we have that worked out. We have our force worked out. Uh, we're going to have to, we're going to then, after we work out our force, um, we're going to have to insert our force into the work formula, and the displacement is 40 meters, and that is multiplied, and we get 39,200, 39,240,000 joules, and then what we must do is we look at power and ultimately that is the question so we had to come up with what the force was to move the load then we had to work out how much work was done and then we could work with the power equation and, the equation, uh, and that is work done divided by time so 39,240,000 joules uh, we uh, did that that work was done in 30 seconds and we come up with 1 million 308,000 watts or 1,308 kilowatts. Now the answer came out in kilowatts even though our power um, equation translated into regular just single you know regular watts and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make a little adjustment or show you how we come up with watts and we turn them into kilowatts we have to uh, convert in that sense so B is our answer and um, I'm just gonna give you a memory aid for the conversion my memory aid is King Henry died by drink drinking chocolate milk and that's how we work out our memory aid kilograms hectograms and grams it could be meters liters or grams in our case in this question it's watts so Kilo is the prefix, hecto is the pre prefix here, deca, and grams, and the base is just regular grams, <coughs> excuse me, uh, by drinking chocolate milk, base, deci decigrams, centigrams, milligrams. Now, there's two L's, milligrams, and hopefully this will sit still, it did not, but that's okay, we'll uh, go ahead and make the adjustment here. 
milli, milligrams. I guess that was no. We got two eyes. Milligrams. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, and so that is the memory that you can use to just work out the kilograms, hectograms, decagrams, base, which is meters, liters, watts. And, um, okay, drinking chocolate milk, decigrams, centigrams, milligrams. So this will be deciwatts, centiwatts, or milliwatts. And then, um, so King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, which will remind you of what the place here. And let's just take a minute to focus on our prefixes kilo, hecto, deca, base, deci, centigrams, milligrams. And in this case, like I said, the base is grams, liters, meters. So you would place this, whatever units that you're working in, you would just apply them to the back of kilo, hecto, deca, base, deci, centi, or milli. And then after that, we will know how to slide the, uh, how many spaces to slide the um, decimal point. Because with our answer, we came up with 1 million, that should be a comma, 1 million. 308 hundred zero 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 point zero zero so since our answer came out in watts we need to change it into kilowatts so uh, and that's what the base here represents so wherever our decimal is if we're going from watts to kilowatts in this example then the decimal point needs to move over one two three times if we were going to change it into centiwatts then we would go over one two decimal points to the right but in this case the decimal point slides over one two three spaces and then that becomes 1308 kilowatts so um, that is our that's how we convert and um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching please like hit the subscribe to it button below and please share on your social media networks so i thank you guys for watching hope you guys have a good turkey day uh we'll be back again with more videos again thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and i appreciate you guys taking time out to watch this video if you have any comments questions or concerns you can please enter them in the comment box this is kino take care bye bye